stayed ever since re-anchoring yesterday. Stress levels were a little high. We ended up having a pretty just relaxing, mellow evening. We didn't sleep very well. Uh, we were definitely rocking and rolling a little bit. Or you're gonna get what you get on a boat in terms of sleep. We'll take it. Had a nice uh, relaxing morning. Did some yoga, jumped in the ocean, played around in the water, and now we've noticed that our holding tank is getting pretty full. So we're having to make some crucial decisions of what we're gonna do next. Cause we don't wanna just hang out and then all of a sudden the holding tank is overflowing. So we're gonna try to get on out of here. And first we gotta get the dinghy back up. But before the dinghy, Einstein's creating a nice little pulley system to get the outboard <laughs> up. We'll see if this is Einstein or Weinstein, but uh, <laughs> we got a, yeah. I found this. I don't know if this is what it was used for, but it's kind of a three to one right here. And so we should be able to pull the outboard up here. I just tied a little stop knot, so just in case Alvina hops the rope, <laughs> then, <laughs> then the motor won't go all the way into the ocean. And we put um, the boom all the way out so it's super wide and so we can get it off the dinghy up and around our hard lines and we'll mount it back onto and then back over there kind of wish i recorded that because connor just man handled that like a muscle man <laughs> and look at that we do live near muscle beach <laughs> i've been training secretly at muscle beach <laughs> at night <laughs> well with robert kennedy outboards there we're disassembling pulley system and now going to use the halyard to get the dinghy up. Let us know what you guys think. <laughs> we did it, hey. It seems pretty good to us, but we're probably pretty bad compared to a lot of other very, people. Very excited about the dinghy habits. <laughs> Can't wait to get those on. Now. Next week, they're going on. Connor, what do you have to say? Oh, here, I'll pause it. I said all there is to say, just like Tom Petty. <laughs> Connor's a little grumpy. I'm pretty grumpy right now. I don't know why. I think he's just sleep deprived. Yeah, super sleep deprived. Super kind of disappointed in Catalina. Like, it's beautiful and everything, but all the good anchorage spots are all taken by moorings. So it's kind of super difficult to anchor, and we're not very good at anchoring, obviously. So it's super just kind of frustrating and. Uh, a lot of sleepless nights and yeah, not not feeling great about the whole thing right now. But I know that this is just Catalina and it's the closest place to LA and whatever. That it's gonna be extra crowded and it is everything I still hate about California because it is California. Okay, you're cut off. He is kind of a Debbie Downer. He's like the Eeyore of sailing a live-o. But that's okay. I think Catalina was amazing. I think it was so beautiful. And even though we had some sleepless nights, even though there was quite a few things that went wrong, I think it's all beautiful lessons that we're gonna grow from. And we, you cannot learn it any other way besides going out and making them. And yeah, this morning we packed up thinking we were just gonna go out for a short, shorter sail away from the island dump our tanks and head back but since we're already kind of making our way back in the direction of home we decided just to just to send it enjoy the sail and head home get a good night's rest and start to fix everything that went wrong and reflect on the whole trip and how it can be better next time now that we know a few anchorages that we really enjoyed and slept well in uh, we'll have to just remember those and we'll get back to them and the few that we wanted to go to today rippers cove that we didn't make it to 
That's okay. We'll be back here in no time. So I'm going to work on cheering Connor up because I think we did great. Feeling better? Yeah, that made me feel better. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Don't you worry. Connor's mood was about to flip around real fast for the wind hit us hard. Adrenaline got really high and we were about to get humbled greatly. Connor is happy now. We are so sideways. I am so scared. <laughs> oh, <the> adrenaline rush here. <laughs> I have never seen a live o this I'm sideways. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Everything has shifted. We almost lost our cooler. <laughs> almost lost our oars. Connor was the hero bringing them back. <laughs> Well, surprise, surprise. It looks like we're not going home. <laughs> yeah, we don't like home. I guess we <laughs> attempted to go home. We finally emptied the holding tank. The winds got super gnarly and we tried to reef the main and we even have the head sail. The head sail is not even fully out. And we found ourselves doing seven knots going back to Catalina. We weren't even a quarter of the way home, so by the time we would have made it home, it would have been pretty late. Mm -hmm. So we opted just to go back and reset, rethink our decision and tactic coming back home because the winds are only going to pick up. I was definitely scared. This boat was so heeled over, I did not even think it could possibly go that far. <laughs> we could just see the belly of a live -o. Uh I was definitely very scared and it's not even rough sea so mom you're right <laughs> maybe we need more practice because that was so scary yes yeah, so we should have set our reefing lines first we had them all loose and not ready to go so I was scrambling around or we trying to go upwind and we kept just kind of changing directions instead of going up wind and it was just chaos we were not prepared for this at all but we'll go back we'll have a good night's sleep hopefully <laughs> probably a terrible night's sleep no we're gonna have a great night's sleep we're gonna find we're potentially thinking about going all the way back to cat harbor i don't know if he was serious about that but that was a great anchorage <laughs> that was um, great but i don't think we'd make it till dark yeah you're right we're doing seven four Woo. Some of you legendary sailors are probably laughing at us right now, but we as rookies are still learning. And we learned here that our mistake is that we should have eased the main and our reefing lines should have been set up, always set up and ready. And they weren't. So going to do that always from here on out. Don't you fret. All right. We have got back to land, got our anchorage. Just cried, reevaluating our whole plan. But hey, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. All right, when I was trying to record, I only had 14 seconds left and it kind of cut me off. So we got to this beautiful anchorage, the little treat after a really stressful day. Just showered, feeling super refreshed. Connor just made me the biggest bowl of food. How is it? I just cut the sausage. She made the rest. <laughs> um, it's great. Ooh, look at all that sausage. Yeah, we we like to live on the carnivore and hopefully now soon to be lots of fish. Not but, fully carnivore. But we do love nice, rice. We're suckers for rice. Gotta supplement a little bit. But anyways. We're not that rich. <laughs> we're not that rich, yeah. Exactly, but I would say we're pretty freaking rich to have this incredible view, this beautiful anchorage. The water is so blue. There's like a really cool camp spot in there. How amazing. If you had a bunch of extra people, they can just camp on the beach. Such a, oh, you know what that, that sound is. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> beer time. Your mouth salivating too. <laughs> and the sun is just going down. Beautiful. And the water is so turquoise and clear. Look at it. Just look at it. 
we for a moment got a little nervous that it was super shallow. It was super shallow and we were a little nervous about it, but. It is shallow, but it's nice. We don't have to let out so much anchor. We check our stern anchor. Mm-hmm. Uh, stern. stern anchor, doing good. Front wind, doing good. We're holding Front steady. <laughs> Did we say anything funny while we're eating? Probably. Be funny. <laughs> and the things that we were talking about. Basically saying this is a beautiful treat. After a long, hectic day, we are making lots of mistakes and really learning from it and being able to grow through them. I think for me, it's been really beautiful to both be so stressed out and yell at each other. And then immediately, as soon as the chaos and the turmoil settles, we both immediately go into each other and we're like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I could have done this better, I could have done this better. And we're just talking it through and figuring out how we'll maneuver from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the things I've realized is that it is easy to get your emotions elevated during all these stressful situations and it increases it because you can't hear each other right because while i'm dropping the anchor she's got the motor running she's all the way up here almost 50 feet away and past the dodger and everything else too so i have to end up yelling at her and then she yells back at me what and then i'm like <laughs> do it <laughs> You heard me already, and it's like so frustrating. To, I'm sure on both sides, and uh, and we talked about having Bluetooth speakers like in our ears to be able to communicate. Like, we'll just use that. But when things happen, they happen so unexpectedly. You don't really have time to just go put your AirPods on and call yeah. one another syncing up the airpods and calling each other and making sure the inverter's on so the starlink works and all that kind of stuff so that we can wi-fi call each other at the moment it's just like eh, that's a lot of extra steps yep. maybe we'll get a string and can from the back to the <laughs> bow no i was thinking it could be nice to just actually invest in having two radios and just I having like a radio string and can idea. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. Either one. We just need to figure out a way to be able to communicate with one another mm -hmm. because it does, it causes more irritation and frustration when you you feel like you're not being heard, even though the other person is yelling and that person's annoyed by themselves for having to yell. And it's like, uh, and things really happen in a blink of an eye. We were just having a great sale and the next thing I knew we were so <laughs> keeled over that it was like you could see the belly of Livo and yeah, Livo was showing her belly to everyone just flashing them all the way down <laughs> yeah it was a lot of wind and it just hit us so hard you have to be flexible and so if the wind drastically shifts like that it was nice to see us pivot that was the word I was looking for it's nice to see us be able to pivot and be okay with fine-tuning what our schedule is. But technically that was two pivots. Because initially we were just gonna go <laughs> dump the waste tanks. Uh, but we did get like fairly ready and luckily Malvina had the foresight to kind of put everything away inside so not not anything really got broken, right? I don't think anything got broken. It just, when you went down but there, it looked like a torrent. It was a war earthquake. Zone. It was yeah. like things were falling everywhere. I was even literally just trying to hold on for dear life, being nervous that I was going to let go. And I could really see how people get hurt because you're really holding on and trying to put one wrong move and you're just smashed against that gravitational pull down to the other side of the boat. Yep. Fast you have to be strong. a ninja. You have to be a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, yeah, spider your way through. But we did it. We did it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I got completely fried sunburnt right now. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Here, how about I slap it to you really? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the body glove. <laughs> 
Hold on, let's pause show. for a moment. Let's just show them the sunset because it's really pretty. Oh, show it to them. Check it out. Wow, I forget how long this Dodger is. We added to our Dodger, so we had extra shade. Our Dodger normally ends there, and it's kind of nice to be able to see the sails and everything, but it's nice to have shade too. It's a compromise. Can't win. All right, but back to the point, the main show. All right, are you ready for this? Okay, take a deep breath in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Full breath out, and then let yourself slip away into this beautiful cove. This is Ripper's Cove. Wow. Livo looking pretty. Connor looking gorgeous. As always, handsome. And I know I called him Eeyore earlier. He's not Eeyore. He can, we all have our moments where we're a little bit of a negative Nancy but I think we're really quick to catch each other now as soon as we start to slip down that road. And we turned it around. Connor just like, he must have channeled all that wild energy of the ocean because all of a sudden he just used that adrenaline to be a hero, a great captain, get us through it. Cause I panicked, of course. <laughs> I got a little nervous and I was like, Connor, what do we do? But got through it. He needed that adrenaline to become a superhero. <laughs> Love it. Zane. Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh. <laughs> You're supposed to sing with me. <laughs> Selling goggles and muscles, alive, alive, oh. Dang, the color right now looks so gorgeous. So we were just talking about how, you know, we are a little bit discouraged. But you guys, it's been rough. You know, this is our first real week of, uh, of cruising. Of just kind of doing whatever we feel like with no time limit to get back to, no excuses to want to go back home, no nothing. So we're... Uh, realizing how hard it can be I and mean, she's getting distracted over here <laughs> so yeah i'm listening to you <laughs> <laughs> but i've also kind of always had the mindset and i know malvina has too that anything anyone can do we can either do or do better but it is going to take some time so uh, we are putting in our time now and just kind of, <laughs> she's getting distracted on the sunset again. Okay, finish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel weird being filmed like this. He's being a little shy. Wow, I'm so sun-kissed. <laughs> I think mostly from the wind. The wind just fried us. I felt like we were pretty good with sun protection, but that wind just oh, howling. Stands our chain tumbled down on itself when I was pulling it up because we let out a lot of chain at the last anchorage. So it all tumbled down on itself and it was just all jumbled up. So I'm jumping down to the V-Bird through the hatch, trying to unbundle things and then coming back and I have to undo the little wench nut every time um, and then redo it so that I can unjumble all the chain because if I didn't do that Then if I unjumbled the chain then it would take my hand with it and um, So it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. I mean, I'm sure we'll work through this all But big learning curve glad we did it now glad we get to go back to our slip and take a rest for a while think about everything and kind of engineer some new strategies and get some parts still while we have vehicles to get parts with and a shipping address to get them shipped to <laughs> and yeah definitely glad we made this trip but it has not been all sunshines and rainbows mm -hmm. and unicorns and <laughs> whatever else. well as i said before sailing is not always glamorous and so we appreciate you those champagne sailors happy hour sailors we understand we appreciate but i think for us everything we've done in life that has been truly 
had that had purpose was something that was really difficult and we both have gone through the ins and outs of learning something new even at older ages I know I didn't start surfing until I was my 23 I believe and I always felt so behind and so same with sailing I wish I did this as a kid and just it's in our blood and it's second nature but we're learning and the best way is to just dive right in and make mistakes get through the mud and keep on keeping on jammed out there sorry <laughs> <laughs> that was fun <laughs> hope you enjoyed thanks that. <laughs> everyone for following along and if you're like us and want to view our episodes without advertisement check out a live o sailing on patreon you have the option to join our community who enjoys ad free content and other ways of connecting with us once you're on Patreon, you can click memberships where it'll take you to the three tiers we offer. We offer the happy hour mate, the weekend cruiser, and also the live aboard. This is a brand new addition we started to explore. So give us a holler if there are features you would like to see and let's grow this Livo community. Thanks y'all. Now go seize the day.